How are you folks? I'm just going to answer these off the cuff. Uh, just keep it free and open. But if anything I say doesn't make sense, I'm happy to do follow up questions or answers. In your opinion, is directing a career or a vocation? It's much worse than that. It's a sickness. It's something that you are compelled to do. And it doesn't make any sense because it'll probably destroy your life. And the people around you who don't understand why you're wasting so much time on creating fictional nonsense as opposed to dealing with reality will want to fucking kill you, including your family. Uh, there's the, the story goes that Rod Steiger used to do acting classes, the great actor Rod Steiger. And the example he gives is that a student comes up to him and says, Mr. Steiger, I want to act, I want to act. And his response, some people thought it was crude, but his response was, come back when you have to. And it's that idea, it's a compulsion that you have to do. No matter what damage it does to you, no matter how much it fucks up your reality, you're obsessed with constructing a realm of alchemy in fiction that is occasionally more important than any reality. Your work always has something important to say. What advice would you give to aspiring directors about showcasing their unique filmmaking voice? Stop whining, pick up your phone, start filming, cut it at home on a free fucking software. Make your stuff. Stop waiting for people to give you permission. Stop waiting for agencies, government agencies in particular, to give you a handout. They are in the business of protecting conservatism and producing very often mediocrity. They don't give a fuck about your singular voice. They don't give a fuck about art. So stop waiting for other people to give you permission. Something important to say. It's not about having something important to say. It's about having something to say. Make something that's worth us suspending our reality and suspending our disbelief because you compel us to want to become part of the world that you and the actors and the crew created. What is your approach to casting and working with actors? Most directors have no experience working with actors in film school, which is fucking absurd. It's like having a DP have no experience with cameras. It just is idiotic. If you're not working with actors in a completely humble, but also willing to fight to the death way, you need to do so as fast as possible. Actors are amazing people. They're the bravest society I've ever met. Now, of course, they're not soldiers or fucking doctors or frontline people, but they are, in terms of their soul, putting something on the line that might move us in a dark room 10 years from now, but it's causing them psychologically, emotionally, physically on levels that we can't even begin to comprehend. So the least you can do is learn the craft, learn how to inspire them. Don't tell them what to do. You're not there to tell them what to do, you fucking moron. Just because you had some idea in your head six months ago and you want them to replicate it, that doesn't make you a director. It makes you a fucking idiot and a megalomaniac. Work with actors. The best way to work with actors is this. Be as kind as possible, allow them to fuck up as much as possible, and then give in them the belief that they have the courage to do something that even they themselves thought they were incapable of. That's your job. Do you embrace or avoid improvisation by actors on set? Everything is improvisation. There's, I've only made three films. Two of them are uh, scripted and one of them is a documentary. But in those instances, what you're looking for is that sense of fluidity and freedom that does not sound like it's written and does not feel like it's being orchestrated. That's much easier said than done, obviously, but one of the ways to do that is to allow the actor to bring in their ideas, encourage the actor to bring in their ideas. It's not all about you having to have all the answers all the time. That's fucking nonsense. Don't give the impression you are in constant control. Just because you're the biggest fucking dick at the table doesn't mean you have to slam it on the table every time. Get out of their way and try and find a way to facilitate in them an improvisational feel around a given text. And obviously the dick refers to women as well. How do you work with a DOP on set? Same principle. The DOP, a good DOP, is very sensitive to the moment in relation to the actors. They are not going to make sure that a pretty perfect shot is more important than the subject of the shot. If they do, get rid of them. They're fucking painting still pictures. A cinematographer is looking for a discoverable moment in front of the lens that makes the whole place get excited. That's your function. That's your job. That's your relationship with your DP. 
How hands-on are you during the post-production phase? You have to be hands-on, but hands-on doesn't mean leaving your fucking fingerprints all over it. It means that, you, again, the same principle. You're inspiring the people in the room to suddenly think, holy shit, this could be something interesting. This could be something better than we expected. This could be something special. That's your job. Inspire people to want to be the best they can possibly be and then push them a little further. How important is sound design and music in your films? It's imperative. It's called sound and picture for a fucking reason. Sound and vision. It's about the idea of a totally immersive experience. If silence is the most effective way for that immersive experience in one context, then fucking strip everything away. But even silence has a sound. Do you prefer directing fiction or non-fiction and why? There's no difference. You're building the same construct, which is a three-act, effectively a three-act structure that is designed to take an audience into a realm where they suspend disbelief and they become immersed psychologically and emotionally in the aspirations and the execution of the character's yearnings. That's the function. It doesn't change. Except to say that documentary, you can have a small camera, you can sneak into places and you are the servant of everything, but I think you are the servant anyway. But in documentary, you can... It's much more easily accessible as a functionary art form because it can be just you and a camera and a mic. What needs to be done in Ireland to ensure bold, distinctive maverick filmmakers are adequately funded to create important work that reflects the culture here? That's a fucking comical question. That's never going to happen. We got a film board that's obsessed with gender, this fucking gender scam, this bullshit scam. You tell me when any woman was sitting down to write a screenplay and had a man tap her on the shoulder and says, don't you be writing that screenplay. You tell me any time when a producer looked at a screenplay, read it, said that was brilliant, turned back to the front page, saw it was written by a woman and says, that's a shame and dumped it in the fucking bin. There is nothing stopping women that is not stopping men. Stop. Yeah, I'm coming. Stop looking for fucking people to give you permission. They're not going to create maverick, distinctive, bold, for fuck's sake. These people are failures on multiple levels. That's why they're attracted to making decisions. Oh, that's it. All right. Anyway, hope that makes some kind of fucking sense. And as I says, there's no problem if you want any follow-up.